give money to provinces as opposed to giving money to ministries because ministries don't do anything other than providing a supervisory role. Why not take money to where the implementation takes place, which is in the provinces, which is in the districts? The other thing, honorable chairperson, is that we know that in attaining development, there are different stakeholders that are involved. Yes, government plays its role, and that is why we are advocating for more money being placed at the hands of people. And we want to commend the government. The first step taken is to take money to the, the constituencies through CDF. The same way, the same way you have done on CDF is our expectation, it was our expectation that you should have moved money from these ministries down to the provinces, and from the provinces down to the district. Now, development is attained not only from government perspective. There are stakeholders also who are critical. That is the private sector. You know that the Copper Belt thrives literally on the private sector. The private sector on the Copper Belt is dead. And it looks like all these cries we are making are falling on deaf ears. Yes, we may know that there are certain plans that you have on paper, or now you want to deal with the, the issue of the copper belt. But you are not speaking to us. There are no time frame on what measures you are placing on record or in action to deal with the issue of KCM, to deal with the issue of Mopani. We may sound like broken records today, because every time we stand up, we are talking about KCM, we are talking about Mopani. But you must know why we are emphasizing on this point is that there is no life on the copper belt without Mopani, there is no life without KCM. And if people were listening, we should have been giving timelines on what intervention we are employing to deal with the issues of the copper belt. As I say this, Honorable Minister of the Copper Belt, you are aware that all our districts are becoming ghost towns. It used to be Luansha, now it's every other town. Mufrila, there's nothing to talk about. Chingola, there's nothing to talk about, including where the Minister of, the, of Mines comes from, Chirirabombwe. There's nothing to talk about today. Sadly for my constituents in Kitwe, when you see young boys rooting you know, uh, uh, goods from moving vehicles, sometimes we sit and not do anything because we have nothing to tell them. The sad reality of what you are seeing is that in the communities there is hunger. People are suffering. The more we sit quiet, the more things are getting worse.